just a little uh, update of what I'm doing with the turntable. Um, right now, uh, the turntable works really good. Um, and it, it runs off of this uh, motor uh, gear reducer and uh, shaft and gears and chains. And uh, that's a one-third horse, uh, single phase uh, motor there. The gear reducer, I think, is somewhere between 10 and 20 to 1. Uh, it's a little, it was a little too fast. So to, to help that speed out, um, I've got some different chains, uh, some different uh, um, roller sprockets for roller chains there. I've got some other ones that uh, you don't see there that I don't have in there. But when I want to change speeds, I just uh, um, unbolt the shaft out of the bearings and, and uh, loosen them up, slide those out of the way, and put in whatever uh, sprocket and roller chain I want and tighten her back up and we're good to go for a different speed so and that works okay the setup is okay I can get different speeds out of the out of the turntable um, but it takes me about 20 minutes or so if I want to change speeds and to be more efficient in a timely manner um, I came up with another setup and over here I've uh, got a uh, one horse motor and a 30 to 1 uh, gear reducer and uh, I got one that has an output uh, hollow shaft that will fit my turntable shaft and uh, this is a this is a three phase motor now I don't have three phase set up in my uh, in my optic shop here um, so how do I run that well that's a good question I got this uh, by the way I got all this stuff from uh, automation direct and uh, they did a really good job. It was pretty reasonable on price. I had the thing here in three days. It was they. It was just it was really good. So to solve that, um, I've got this this control box right here, and uh, this is a, a VFD, a variable frequency drive. And uh, how I can accomplish the three phase is it's uh, single phase in, and then it has three phase output, and then I just hook up a separate ground. So that works, and it's uh, this gear, this control box, the VFD, matches up with the the motor and, and gear box. It's one horse. It's uh, 120 volt in, um, one horsepower, and uh, all I got to do right now it's uh, reading the hertz, and that's like a 11.5, and you can see. The shaft turning right there is turning very slow. Um, very slow. I'm guessing the RPMs are, are really low, 10, 12 RPMs or whatever. So with the variable frequency drive, this is really cool because just with the turn of a dial, I can turn it up to whatever speed I want. And you can see that the that the rotation on that is now faster. Really not much to see down in there, but anyway, I can control that speed. There's all the way up, 60 hertz. You can see how that fast that's going now. It's a 30 to 1 gearbox, so what I've really done here is I gave it a lot more horsepower, and I can uh, run the shaft right into that hollow hollow shaft there. No more chains, no more gears, and I can control the speed at anywhere, whatever I want to from 0 to 60 RPMs at the turn of a dial. And that's going to help out a lot. We're going to be a lot more efficient. I can just turn this down quite considerably. That's not quite off. I can hear it slowing down. I got some uh, programming to do on the VFD to get it to slow down and stop faster. I just got it hooked up a few minutes ago. You can see the numbers going down on the Hertz that it's given, given the motor. Clear down to 3.6 hertz, and you can see how super slow that is. And that is very awesome. I can control that speed, faster speeds for uh, um, rough grinding on, on the mirrors, uh, slower speeds um, for fine grinding, or however I want to ramp that up and down. And then I got any kind of super slow speed I want when it comes time to figuring. So that, that works out really well. We've got all these things from uh, Automation Direct, and uh, these are going in the turntable setup. Thanks for watching.